Hello everyone, I'm back. Sue? <laughs> That's what I always say. Hello everyone. Sue? <laughs> so um, I'm going to um, do another one just because I can. And um, this is the updated list again. I had uh, one more sponsor, thought I'd just put her on there. So, Juanita, Juanita. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. But thank you, everyone. Very much appreciated. Now, um, for this next one. This one is Art 102. So, we're going to put them down right there in the middle. And I have some, oh no, we're going to put it aside a little bit. I have some pretty colors mixed up. This is a light pink, and this is a test because this is Amsterdam Acrylics with a little bit of Golden Fluid Acrylics, the Titanium White, and then the Floetrol. And in here is the Silicone. Then I have a nice bright green because I want to do something that resembles water lilies, like I said in my last video. So I'd really like that to uh, happen. Then I have a light blue. No, no silicone in this one. Well, maybe a little what was stuck in the cup, but I don't think that's much. Then um, a little bit darker blue. And then I have my leftover turquoise. So these are the colors we're going to use. Can you see them all? Well, almost. There we go. They look pretty together, don't they? I think so. And I had a little bit of yellow, but, you know, what would look good if you had a little bit of yellow in the middle of the, uh, the pink, because that would look like the uh, center of a water lily. But I'm not going to put yellow in because when you do pores, you have to think about the colors you're using. Because I have uh, three blues, if I put the yellow in, I would even get more, more greens because that's going to mix together. So that's why I'm not going to do this. Maybe I'll just put a little on with a little dropper. I'm not sure. But in case I do that, well, maybe I, I could do a little bit of the uh, primary elements. Yes, yes, yes. Let us do that. And um, I'll use some yellow. This is, um, the color is called Sunburst. So I'm going to try that. And I'm using the uh, Vivid Ultra Metallics. And a lot of people keep asking, how do you mix it? So I'll show you. That stuff is a little thick. So you just... Squirt, squirt a little in a in a cup. Then you get the primary elements and a little stick. And you put a little heap on the end. And I'll just do a little bit more because I like it a little concentrated. Close up the little jar because you don't want to spill it. And then you just mix it through the uh, the medium. There you go. So if we're going to do uh, something on top of this later on, we will ha have it ready. And I think I'm going to leave it thick like it is. Sometimes I put a couple of drops, drops of water in just to make it a little thinner so the uh, pipette can suck it up. But this time I'm just going to leave it like this. And if we need to thin it down, I can always do that later right so there we go and because these are pigments the best thing to do is mix them and let them stand for a little bit because then the um, the pigment really gets into the medium but this stuff is really really pigmented there you go That's about enough. And you can see how shiny it is. 
I hope you can pick it up on with the light, but it's pretty. So, with no further ado, we are going to pour. And again, we're going to pour out of that little cup, because that was uh, about the um, amount that I need. And this is a 100 milliliter cup. I um, You can buy them even uh, with less uh, less in it. I think they go down to 60, but the thing is, they, um, they don't get narrower. They just, you know... Put this down so then you can't uh, stir at all so that's no good I'll have to get some of those shot little shot glasses I'm sure I can find some okay let's put all the colors aside that's that and then we're gonna start and I'd like to start with some very pretty light blue because that's gonna resemble the water and then, of course, straight away put in the other blue. Oop, almost dropped that. Good that it isn't full. Then a little turquoise. A little bit of green. A little bit of darker green. And now I come in with the, uh, with the pinks. Okay, then on top of that, the green again, because I'm hoping it's going to make something that resembles the lily leaves. Then a little bit of that blue again. Again, a little bit of the blue. little bit of turquoise what's left that's looking good oh look at those very, very tiny tiny little cells they are cute and some more green but I'm just layering it on top because I want some um, I want some different interaction with it. That's about it. Okay, we're ready to go. No stirring. We're just going to put it on top. And don't forget, anyone wants to buy it, put this in your email. Art102. The funny thing that I find with, um, oh wow, look in that cup, that is amazing. The funny thing is that there is cells in all colors when there's only silicone in one. I do not know how that works. But who cares because it is pretty. Now, I don't really want to uh, toss it over the side, but we'll have to. But I'm going to do it differently now. I'm going to use what's in the cup, and I'm going to try and make it go over the sides a little faster. So I don't have to um, worry that the whole pattern is going to be fading away. There we go. I really like it. There's a lot going on. But I will have to tip it. Can't help it. But we're going to keep the, the pink. At least some of it. We can always do something, um, you know, add to it. There we go. There we are. Okay. Now it's time to do something with it. We'll just we'll just let it do a little bit what it wants to do. 
Let me get my hands cleaned. Where did I leave that thing? Uh oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, that is pretty. But I do want to do something to it. I don't know why I want to do it, but I do. But this is this is beautiful. All everything up here is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. But I do want to do something. And now I'm I'm hearing people screaming, "Don't no, don't touch it. It is good as it is." But I do want to do something. Wow. This is so difficult. Let's see if we do do this. See, it's much more intense. That's for sure. Ooh, I do find that pretty. Look how it how it sinks in. It really sinks in and I like that. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm getting a little a little quiet. I'm sorry, but that's because I am really enjoying doing this. There are little rings around it. That is so pretty. I'm gonna, oops, I think I emptied it. That is really, really pretty. Wow, let me do some more. But as you can see, this is very, very delicate stuff. Okay, I think I'm uh, done with that. And then I would like to do the same with the green. And like I said, I wanted to put something on there, the yellow, but I'm a little bit afraid. Let's get some in here in the pipette. Okay, let's clean it off so we get no drips. And let's do this again. This is beautiful. I like this. Oh, you probably can't hear me, so I'm gonna... Yeah, this has possibilities. This is just, you know, something uh, experimental. Um, here over here it does um, it's it's lost its uh, circular um, pattern this one keeps it more circular I hope it stays like this whoops cleaning it off these these are sort of um, staying in place <laughs> now I've got an air bubble I gotta get rid of that you do not need air bubbles in your paint. That's better. I'm hoping that this will uh, stay like I'm putting them on the here because that would be uh, for me that is pretty and this one that was um, oh yeah this was the uh, Amsterdam acrylic that's right let's try the same with the other one I think that would be a really good idea because these are staying so beautiful and uh, the other one they're sort of going away so let me see what happens. Wow. 
one little air bubble, but we can fix that. Uh -oh. Okay, I'll have to come in with the torch because I don't want those bubbles. That's better. Okay, what we've learned about this uh, pour, this is very important. So when you mix up paint and you use something um, other than the golden acrylic, fluid acrylics, because this is Amsterdam acrylics, when you put it on there, you can see that it, um, the circular pattern sort of loses grip and sort of goes like that. So that's what happened here. But here you can see that I'm using the golden uh, fluid acrylics and it stays that way. And that is, uh, why do I get all these little air bottles? I don't know. So that is very interesting. I've tried this, um, um, people that have followed my channel for a long time, I've tried this uh, so many times, the little drips and stuff, and uh, it, it was never really that I found it really pretty, but this, uh, this paint behaves differently, so I think uh, I like this one better. And this has the pearl in it. The, um, someone had just asked me on YouTube what, what I was talking about. <coughs> this is what I was talking about. It's called iridescent pearl. And it, it says fine. So I was thinking, oh, cool. So they have a medium and a large, but they didn't. They only had this one. And I would have liked it a little bit shinier because I uh, like stuff that shines, like the uh, this stuff. And now I'm a little bit, you know, thinking, shall I put this in there, yes or no? Because it does look cute, doesn't it? Let me get a pipette. I would like a little bit of yellow just to break the picture or the painting. I don't know why these look, they're all packaged like this. You get 10 in a little plastic bag. I don't know why they do that. They could have just sent them all loose. But again, this stuff is really, really thick right now. But I really do want to keep it like that because otherwise you get that spreading all over the painting, which I now do not want. Because I want this to behave just like, you know, where you, let me see, get it down there. I just want a really tiny one in the middle. Just like that. Ah, now it fell over. See, I wanted one like this. Can I make it a little smaller? Yeah. Hmm, now I'm not liking it anymore. That's what happens. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna do something. In I come with my stick. Hit me with my rhythm stick. Hit me, hit me. Ooh, yeah. Just make a little swirly pattern. Just like that. See? Now it looks like it, it belongs there. That's cute. Now it's like little flowers and these are little petals and everything. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. Just make this one a little longer. Yeah, that's it. But now I want some up here too. So let us do that. See if there's still some in there. Nope, it's empty. Because I don't think if you, um, if you don't dilute it with water, I don't think it spreads all over the place. Oh, 
only it's very difficult to pick up. Now I'm letting it come down without the air bubbles. Just a little bit, not too much. That's it. And that one's flowing that way, then I'll let this one flow this way. Oh yeah, that's beautiful little bit down there that's it I love it that's it don't touch it walk away this is it yeah Ooh, I see a little air bubble it's gone there it goes okay getting you guys down so See, now you're thinking uh, maybe that the yellow is too overpowering, but don't forget that the colors, all the other colors, will be bouncing back once the flow troll, troll dr dries up. And isn't this, you know, this is not too much. This is just what it needed. Up here too, see the little, uh, little fellas? And here are the, uh, the big green ones. I think it's beautiful. I love it. I'm very satisfied with this one. Too bad you, you get all the, the glare in it because it's still so wet. But I think it's a beautiful, beautiful pour. So for the people that still wonder what it is, it's only Floetrol and it is a, um, a very small amount of golden fluid acrylics and I don't know where all those cells come from but there's only um, silicone in one color and that was in the pink so that's it and the rest didn't have any silicone in it whatsoever so okay I'm gonna put this up and go answer some more emails because I bet a lot of people wanted the uh, print again so I'll do that and I'm going to figure out uh, Google Drive because next time I do something like this, I want you guys to be able to just get it yourself. Just click on the link and download it and that would be it. So I'm going to figure that out and I'm going to leave you all and say make some beautiful art and see you in the next video. Bye bye.